Um, so I am don't do that whole talking over thing, so this is actually live gameplay, but I wanted to start um, doing, like, my story times again, like I used to do on my old account. Um, not old account, on my older YouTube videos. And so I wanted to do a story because it got a lot of votes um, on Twitter. I say um a lot, I apologize. And so I wanted to talk about like my, one of my exes and like, oh wow, really good aiming, so good. So I had an ex that, <laughs> There was a lot going on, uh, not gonna lie, there was a lot going on, and I don't even know where to start, so I'm not gonna say their name or anything, but one of the most recent react uh, interactions with them, they're a pathological liar, they have like really bad lying habits, and so I got with them because of certain situations, but also because I was very depressed, like I'm not gonna say that I wasn't at fault. Uh, that is not a good reason to get with someone, um, even if, you know, even if they're not, like, the greatest of people. That's not, <laughs> that's not a good reason to get with anyone. But, I didn't realize how manipulative they were, uh, until after I had gotten out of my depression a little more. And, uh, so they, and I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, mm, you know, this, that makes sense. Yeah, totally. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so this dude, <laughs> this dude, <laughs> he told me that he was kicked out of his house when he was 16, which that's believable. I'm not going to say that I didn't, uh, that that's, oh, that's bullshit. There's no way. That's definitely believable. But then, so he joined the, he joined the military and he said that, he told me that he joined the military when he was like, like 20. So, and in between that time before he, or like 19, in between that time before he joined, he was, uh, he told me that he was homeless, because, you know, he got kicked out of his house, and that he was, <laughs> he was a male prostitute, he was a male prostitute, and he would rob people, he would rob people to make, uh, to get some money, uh, to live off of, and he also, apparently, uh, slept with old ladies for money, which... The prostitute one really doesn't sound too far-fetched. Weirdly enough, it doesn't sound too far-fetched. But I mean, I mean, I don't think it happened, but it's not like the craziest thing I heard. And... So I'm trying to get my thoughts, like, together about this. So, and then he said he robbed people. Now, knowing this man's... This dude has not an ounce of common sense. Like, there's, no. I don't, I don't even think he was homeless on the simple fact that he's too stupid. There's no way he would have survived being homeless. Like, there's, no, no, no. He's, he's really dumb. Like, this dude had to Google how to make rice. Uh, he didn't know how to make rice. He also didn't know how to make eggs. Uh, he burnt the rice, even though he Googled how to make it. And, um, there's just a lot of things going on. So he ended up getting a, he ended up getting a ticket, like a really bad speeding ticket one time. He ended up getting a speeding ticket and like a really bad one, like 50 over. Okay, like he should have gone to jail kind of shit. And so he had to show up to court. So he ends up telling his command, <laughs> like he's not even a good liar. He ends up telling his command that um he showed up to court he didn't his uh, representative or whatever i'm sure that was also a load of crap he lies about everything but he ended up uh saying that he was at um at the court date but then he was actually asleep at home and they were like okay show us proof because you know you lie about a lot of things 
show us proof about it. And so this man's... So this man ends up Googling the courthouse. He Googles the courthouse and picks the first image on Google Images. And it's not even the right time of day or anything. <laughs> he ends up... He Googles, he Googles the fucking courthouse. I'm like, bruh, <laughs> like, come on now, <laughs> you can do better than that, I know you, I believe in you, but, so, mind you, so he tried, uh, slut shaming me a while back, and if you don't know me, I am very comfortable with my sexuality, I don't have, I'm not ashamed of how many people I've been with. I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, no one's had a problem with it. I've been very open about how many people I've been with. And then he tried to slut shame me. Mind you, he cheated on me. This this guy cheated on me. And then I broke up with him. We split up. And he tried to tell me... He tried to tell me that I've been with a lot of people. And that um, he's only ever had sex with people that he's been in a relationship besides me because when we first met we weren't in a relationship so um so he tried to tell me that that basically i was a dirty whore because he had been with uh he had dated everyone he'd been with and then i go oh so all those times you know you were selling your body you were selling your body for all that money when you were homeless those what happened to those people what happened to you being a prostitute what happened to all that you were dating all those people right right is that what's happening and he goes he pauses because he forgets that he told this stupid fucking lie that's for bringing up a hard memory Ugh. it's like no it wasn't shut up you just had forgotten about it because you're an idiot absolute fucking idiot and i like i just died i died so fucking hard and it's like mind you i wasn't even like with the dude but we were still living together because one um i didn't have the money to live by myself and two we were both on the lease so might as well just you know live together split the bills do whatever and so i end up because he ha has been having, mind you, he's having a rough time at work for his own doing, not from anyone else. The military sucks, but it was all self-inflicted uh, bullshit that he did to himself. And, okay, uh, so he, he was really just upset and stressed out lately, so I thought, hey... Mind you, I'm not, I wasn't, I mean, I'm not rich now, but I, I wasn't making really the best of money or anything, you know. So I was like, well, I, for a birthday present, will get him, or not birthday present, but for a Christmas present, I'll get him the new Xbox uh, One X or whatever. Mind you, it was like $400, so it's not like it's a cheap present. We weren't even together, I was just doing this because, to be nice, because he had been, like, sad or whatever recently. So, I gave- I got him the Xbox. He let me use his old, like, original Xbox one. And... We ended up having a big fight, and he was just basically shitting on me, just telling me that I was a dirty whore and other shit. And he's like, I don't want anything to do with you, blah 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 blah, and I was like, okay, cool, cool bet. Then if you don't want anything to do with me, I want all of my things back. Cause mind you, he moved into this place, and I had already had full furniture, so I, all the furniture was mine. So I'm like, I want my bed that you're sleeping on, you nasty behind with no sheets. He didn't have sheets. His room was disgusting, mind you. Um, and I was like, and then I want that Xbox back then, since you don't want anything to do with me, you know? You don't want anything to do with me. So... So he gave me the Xbox back. Mind you, I have an Xbox One S, which I kept that one just for the simple fact is I like, if it might aesthetic better, I'm sure that's probably sounds stupid because the Xbox One um, X runs better, but don't judge me. It is what it is. Uh, so 
I, I sold that Xbox. Because there's no point in having two Xbox Ones, personally. Um, I just think it's a waste of money and time. So, I didn't get my full amount back. Because, you know, it is what it is. So, I sold it. And then he came into my room. He came into my room and said, Where's my Xbox? Where's my Xbox? And I said, Oh, you, the big black one, right? Um, well, I gave that back to you. It's in your room right now. Uh, because obviously I wasn't going to keep, you know, his Xbox that he had uh, let me use because I had, you know, there's another Xbox. So, he's like, no, where's my Xbox? And I was like, you mean the Xbox One X that I bought, I bought, I paid for. I sold that. Either give me my Xbox or give me the money for it. And I said, uh, no not gonna do that because he's like pulled that shit before where he's like try to like threaten me with shit that he has no basis on like saying that he can kick me out because when um when we first split up i didn't have a job so he was like paying all the bills so he said that he could kick me out even though i was on the lease because he was paying all the bills which is a lie but i ended up obviously getting a job because i'm not trying to like mooch off of someone especially someone i'm not with like that's not like my thing but, so I said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, so, so he goes, when I said no, he goes, then I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to sue you for stealing my Xbox. Mind you, he gave it back to me because, you know, if you give someone a gift, it is, it is theirs. But if they give it back to you, then it's yours. Then it's yours. So he gave it back to me. So it, it it was mine when I sold it. Because he's like, here, here you go. You can have it back. I don't want it anymore. But, you know, obviously he thought that... I He didn't think I was going to freaking sell it. And so... Um, he got really fucking mad when I sold it, too. So he tried to threaten me and sue me. So I was really just done at this point. Like, there had been, like, so much more shit that had happened. So I was like, fuck this dude, honestly, fuck this dude. So I was like, sue me. Fucking sue me then, bitch. Fucking sue me. I want you to fucking sue me. Because mind you, this dude didn't have any proof that, that one, the Xbox existed. Two, he gave it back to me. So legally it was mine anyways. And three, he's just full of shit. And I knew he wasn't gonna sue me. And whatever. So... I was like, whatever. So take me to court over a fucking Xbox. They're gonna fucking laugh in your fucking face is what's gonna happen. And so, that's not even honestly the first instance. Uh, this last time that we hung out, he, um, not hung out, I had to go meet him up for, uh, legal reasons. And I coughed in the car, mind you, this is like when the coronavirus was active, so it, it was like, uh, at the beginning of this year. I coughed in the car and I said, hey, don't worry, I don't have the coronavirus, I just coughed, you know. And this, this dude goes. <laughs> I can't pause the game, but I want to. This dude goes. <laughs> he goes, don't worry. Mind you, this was like in March or some shit. Not that we're any closer to a vaccine or anything now. But he goes, he goes, don't worry. I have the coronavirus vaccine. And I'm like. I was like, and mind you, I don't argue with this guy, like, um, because that's, you know, counterproductive because he's just an idiot. And I said, no, you, there's not even a vaccine out yet. And I just, like, automatically, like, said that because, like, I shouldn't have argued with him because he just would try to argue that the sky is a different color if he could. And he's like, uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised by what vaccines don't exist when you work in the government that actually do. This dude works at an internet company. <laughs> this dude works at an internet company and he was talking about I don't know what he was fucking talking about. But I was just like, you're out of your fucking goddamn mind. But, um, yeah. So he tried to say that he worked with the government. But yeah, he tried to say that he worked in the government because he worked at an internet company. Mind you, he also said that he was working 
he was getting New York pay, but he never even had, he doesn't have to live in New York, but he was getting paid New York pay, whatever that's supposed to mean, I don't even, he's a weirdo. And he was saying that the place he was living in was, uh, was, um, government housing, like, that he was given by the government, um, and I was like, yeah, I'm sure, and that there's cameras everywhere because, because it's a, it's a government play, a building, and all this other shit, and I'm just like, um, okay, well, this government building is, looks like a piece of shit, so... So I don't know what you want me to say about all that. It looks like shit, and you should be ashamed of yourself for taking care of this building like that. But, uh, I don't even know. There's just so much going on. So I just, uh, I just call him Vaccine Boy because apparently he's immune to the coronavirus just like Donald Trump. So, yeah, I really just know how to pick him. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of, like, other instances while I'm, like, uh, doing this. But, what else, what else? I, there's a way more in in instances. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a great one, here's a great one. Uh, he tried to say that I cheated on him because he cheated on me. And he didn't want to look like the shitty person. Um, so he was like, no, she cheated on me and told everyone on Facebook and shit that I was a cheater. Even though he was on Tinder asking to meet up with girls and asking for pussy pics. And he had girls' pussies saved on his fucking, saved on his fucking phone. And I said, why the hell did you save these girls' pictures? And this is what he told me. This is what he told me. He goes, um, to jerk off what to. And I'm like, like, I guess that was supposed to make me feel better that he saved pictures to jerk off to. I don't know. Like, he, like, actually openly admitted that. And he's like, oh, that's not what I meant. And I'm just like. You you have a really big fucking brain, don't you? Like a really big fucking brain. <laughs> oh my god, it was it was really something. He just and that's not even the first story of like shit that has happened like with like guys. Oh, he also tried to say that I never have done anything for him, even though that's a fucking lie because I used to do everything for him. He tried to say I'd never ever done anything ever for him. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. So when I went to go see him for the legal reasons, he had a different car than when we were to when we were together. And he goes, he goes, um, I got a ticket, so they they took my car away, and I don't have to make payments on it until I pay my ticket and I can get it back. And I'm like, no, you didn't make payments on it and the bank took it just like I knew they would because you weren't making payments on it before we split up because I had to remind you every single month to make payments on it because you have no brain cells and apparently it's hard to remember the same exact day every single month or put auto renewal on because that's hard um, to make payments so he got his uh, he got his old car uh, taken and then tried to say that he could get it back if he wanted to but he's not going to because I for some reason I don't know and then his his new boo like messaged me not too long ago like I'm not talking to your bands like chill out I hope you guys live your life the best you can do or whatever I don't really particularly give a shit too much um, and I'm just like, dude, this is weird as shit, like, and then he tried calling me a whore for, like, having an OnlyFans and shit, it's just crazy, but, oh, I but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, listening to me rant, uh, let me know what other stories or what other videos you'd like to hear from me, and I will gladly... Uh, tell those stories. So I will talk to you guys later as I'm getting murdered in this game. Bye bye